Hello, hello, and welcome back to Create Astral, where today I'm going to be showing you how I built this andesite generator behind me. I realized that I never really showed how to do this the first time, uh, so we're going to tear it all apart and do it again so I can show you. I'm going to start off in the front here with our crude storage unit, and this is where our andesite is going to end up. And then behind that, we're going to throw down our seared casting table and we'll need an ingot cast in that just like that and behind that we're gonna have our basin and this is where our andesite is gonna come out of we'll want to make sure our storage unit is set to audit import from the back and so that way it will pull out all of the andesite that comes out of here automatically on this side is where our andesite is gonna come from so I'm gonna throw a hopper next to this and then put our triple compressed andesite behind that and this is what's going to be our andesite generator and this just acts the same that a normal cobblestone generator would so we'll just throw our water and lava in this and we should see that it starts generating andesite we'll need a fan behind that to blow all of the andesite into this hopper and then one last drill above this andesite and that's all for the andesite we need next we'll need to start making some clay so we're going to have a depot above the storage unit and then a fan and some water behind this. Next to that, we're going to throw down a, another storage unit and then a millstone next to that. Another storage unit above that. One more millstone next to that. And then a chute above that millstone. This is where our next cobblestone generator is going to go. So we're going to make that here right above the chute. All this is going to do is have cobblestone come into this millstone here. And this storage unit is going to pull that out. And that's going to be gravel coming out of there. And then that gravel will go into this millstone below it, which will turn it into sand. Make sure we set that to the right here. All that sand will go onto this depot to be washed and then this one below it will pull it out and that will come out to be clay and then the last thing we'll need to set up is iron nuggets right behind the basin here i'm just going to do this by putting down a belt just like this we'll make it doesn't really matter how long you make it and we will want the belt to go right under the storage unit uh, so that way it will be able to pull everything from the belt right into it we just set it to import from the bottom and then if we set up another one right below this this is what's going to pull out all of our flint and we just want to import from the top here and actually i don't even think we need a belt we can just throw down a depot and have all the gravel get washed this way so if we just throw down a fan somewhere say over here and we'll get some water to put right in front of that We'll need a millstone behind the depot and then somehow we'll need to get cobblestone into this and i think i'm gonna do that just by throwing down some lava right here next to that one and then our water is gonna go here and then i believe if we get rid of this one we should get cobblestone yep then we'll need a drill above this cobblestone and then one last drill above this one and we can't forget to throw down our water right here There we go. And then last but not least, we'll need a mixer above this basin where all of our ingredients are going to be coming in to make the andesite compound. And then I believe that's everything. We just need to get this powered up. I'm just going to set up a windmill on this for now. So I've just got a vertical gearbox below this windmill bearing. Then I've just got a rotational speed controller, and this is going to allow us to ramp up the speed of this whole thing without having to use all those gear turns. We'll just throw a large cogwheel above that, and now we can pull all of our power from this, uh, so we can just start connecting everything. It doesn't really matter how you do this.
and I did change this water up a bit just so I could get a power source to this fan here. We do want this drill to be running at a bit of a slower pace than the rest of them, uh, just because andesite doesn't need to be processed at all, so this just spits it out so fast, and we really do not need that much of it. And we could probably go even slower than this. Now all we have to do is go back and make sure that we set all of these crude storage units to import and outport things, and we want to lock them too so that they only hold these ingredients. And I did forget to mention that we're just going to throw some lava right below this crude storage unit holding the flint. And we're just going to dump all those because we don't really need them. And we do need a chute below this for this to work. Can't forget that. Now that we have some compound mixture in this, all we need to do is throw down a block above this faucet. And use a lever here to turn this on and have this spit out the andesite automatically. And there we go. With everything powered up, we should have some andesite coming out here now. Yep. And I did forget to mention that we want these drills uh, mining the cobblestone to be one speed slower. This is because these are twice as fast as the millstones. So if they're running at the same speed, it's going to produce twice as much cobblestone that this can handle. And there we go, that is how you build an andesite generator. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.